What's up everybody? It's your girl Tam here and you are now watching Tam TV. I Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful Tam fam. Did y'all miss me? <laughs> I know y'all did. I missed y'all too. Let's be honest here, Tam fam. This page is slowly but surely turning into a commentary slash entertainment news slash try on haul channel. So let's just call it what it is, okay? If you like commentary on mess and celebrity drama, if you like commentary on world issues and things that I feel that society needs to dive a little deeper into, if you like to see me try on different clothing and accessories from time to time and an occasional travel vlog, <laughs> maybe once or twice a year then this is the channel for you <laughs> anyways if you are new here to my channel as I just said I mainly do commentary entertainment news we talk about the mess honey we get into it and we dive into topics that I feel that people just don't talk about enough and things that I feel strongly about mainly things that involve black women bada bing bada boom you have tam tv okay go ahead stop what you're doing right now click that subscribe button also before we get into the video please follow me on instagram at tamla adabutu at tam tv with two underscores and maybe follow me on tiktok too at chocolate girls who rock yeah so let's get into the video when i tell y'all i cannot wait to talk about this I could not wait as soon as I opened my eyes this morning I went to the neighborhood talk and I saw this headline Simon confirms he proposed to Portia Williams oh the mess honey the mess oh wait I said this is vodka not tea honey who is burning my throat it's burning my throat today <laughs> We're gonna get into it about women like Portia Williams. Yes, you read that title correctly. Women like Portia Williams and why I can't stand them hoes. Mm -hmm. Portia Luther King. <laughs> Portia Luther King. Listen, I thought my good sis had gotten some sense by now. My good sis, Portia, I thought you had gotten some sense, girl. You were becoming a fan favorite. You People were standing you. People were saying they only watch Real Housewives of Atlanta because of you, sis. What happened? What the hell happened, Portia? I will say this. I am personally not a Real Housewives of Atlanta stan. I'm personally more of a Potomac girl myself. Okay, Team Karen, Team LeGrand, Zom, honey. But I do watch at Real Housewives of Atlanta from time to time. So I have a completely unbiased opinion. I am not a Porsche stan. I am not a Nene stan. I am not a Phaedra stan. I am a nobody stan. But I do like the ladies. And I do appreciate what they give to the culture. So with that being said, this is an unbiased ass opinion. Porsche, take it how you want to. I personally don't care. Women like Portia Williams don't deserve true friendship. Women like Portia Williams don't deserve honesty. Women like Portia Williams don't deserve loyalty from nobody. Because women like Portia Williams would literally give their mother's left and right kidney just to have a man. The bar is in hell already, black women. The bar is already in hell and women like Portia just make it worse. For women like me who have self-worth and wouldn't trade in their newborn just to be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you feel me on that? Do you feel me on that? Good. Keep up. I really thought Portia was on the path to righteousness. You know, she was out here marching for freedom, getting arrested and things. And to me personally, that's not something that... I like to praise because I have my own thoughts on social justice warriors and social justice warrioring, but that's a whole separate video. But it has been brought to my attention that Portia is the type of person that cannot go without a man and who always has to be in a relationship and is a hopeless romantic, okay? Coming from a closeted hopeless romantic myself, I personally don't believe that being a hopeless romantic means you have to be a fool. 
You don't have to be a fool just because you love love and want to be in love. I personally can't stand people like Portia Williams, women personally like Portia Williams because they're never good fucking friends. They're never friendship material. And I know that from experience. Let me tell you about my personal experience with a woman like Portia, okay? I used to have a friend. We gonna call her Sandy. <laughs> We gonna name the girl Sandy, all right? I used to have a friend named Sandy, and me personally, I love black women. I love popping ass black women. I love to be around black women who look good, are traveling, experiencing the world, going to events and dinners and da 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 da. You know, living life how I'm living life, and I'm a very friendly person. I'm a Libra. I want everybody to be my damn friend, even though that's not realistic. Um, and I have had so many instances where I have met a girl and she has played me out for a nigga. So yeah, um, this girl, I met her when I was on my way to California. We met on the plane and we instantly clicked because she had a bright, bubbly personality like me. She was extroverted. She was outgoing and that just really drew me into her, her light. She was, she just had a light around her, like this ring light. And I just loved her spirit. So I was just like, oh my gosh, girl, we best friends. Wrong move to think that we were best friends because we weren't. Um, <laughs> so me and the girl exchanged numbers. We end up hanging out on the trip and we both lived in Texas. So when we came back, I was always like texting her, calling her like, oh my gosh, girl, I can't wait to see you again. Like we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna turn up, we're gonna do this, do that. So mind you, I would hit the girl up genuinely to speak to her and I would genu genuinely wanna see her and spend time with her. She would only really hit me up when she was in town, but not to see me because she had prior plans with some nigga. Now, mind you, the girl came to see me one time and she, she hid it under the guise of, oh my gosh, Tam, I'm in town, guess what? Let me come see you. And I was like, absolutely, friend. You can come see me. You can stay at my apartment. We're gonna have so much fun together. We're gonna go to brunch. We're gonna go clubbing. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. I had all these things planned for us to do. Now, mind you, she said that a dude paid for her gas to come to Houston. So she was gonna see him when we went to the club that night. And I didn't wanna go to that club that she wanted to go to I wanted to go to another club where a celebrity was going to be at so we could have an experience, like a concert type experience, but she didn't want to do that. She wanted to go to go to some ghetto ass broke down hookah lounge that this nigga told her to go to just because he paid for her gas, right? <sighs> Women, y'all don't owe these niggas nothing. Y'all don't owe these men nothing. If they do something for you, let them do it. Y'all don't owe them time and y'all most definitely don't owe them sex. But we'll get back to that. So she, she, she insists we go to this, this place because this man is there. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You're the guest. I'll go along with your plans. So that was strike one. Um, long story short, that man ended up getting us into some mess. She lost her wallet, which I strongly feel that he stole. Um, him and his scammer buddies. But that's a whole nother story time I can go into <laughs> that I don't have time to get into. Um, so that was strike one. Strike two, I told her that I messed around with this guy, <laughs> a whole different guy that she was going to see on the same trip, mind you, that I told him, she was like, yeah, girl, I met this, this guy on Tinder. You know, we've been talking for this, this amount of time, which wasn't that long, maybe like two weeks or something. And she was like, I think I really like him. You know, y'all know those, th those girls who are like sprung immediately. And it's like, I think he's the one. I think he's the one. I think he's the one. I used to be, a, I think he the one ass type of girl. So I know. Um, so used to think everybody I went on a date with was the one. No, baby. No. No, he's not actually. He's quite possibly the furthest thing from the one that you could ever imagine. But anyway, <laughs> so she showed me him and I was like, oh my gosh, girl, I know him. And I was like, girl, me and him, we, we, we had, we had 
intercourse <laughs> we had relations and she was like what really sex and i'm like yeah we did and it was good <laughs> it was great but he ain't shit <laughs> Hey y'all, this is me editing the video. So the reason why I decided to tell her that we had SEX is because I thought that I was being a good friend because if a girl had had SEX with a man that I was interested in, it just dawned on me like I would wanna know. So I immediately, that's just the type of person I am. I'm gonna lay it all out on the table for you. Like if I'm not gonna be shady, you know? Like that's like me messing around with your nigga behind your back. Like I'm not gonna be like, Oh yeah, girl. Like if we, cause what if we get in an awkward situation? Then she's gonna find out anyway. So I was just like, let me just peel the rip the bandaid off and just tell her. <sighs> but hey, that's just me. Let me know if I'm wrong for real, cause in my mind I wasn't wrong. So she proceeds to call this man on the phone and say, "Hey, uh, so you'll never guess where I am." I'm in Houston and you'll never guess whose house I'm staying at. And she says my name and she has him on speakerphone and he's like, uh, 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 baby, baby. That was just, that was nothing. That was just, you know, a thing, a one-time thing was a fling, da, da, da. Also, he had a British accent. That's why I was talking like that. Anyway, continue. And so she's like, okay, <laughs> okay, da, da, da. So she hangs up with him and I'm thinking, okay, we're going to go to brunch. We're going to do something, you know, we're going to go out to eat now, whatever. No, she insists upon still seeing this man. Now, please tell me if I'm tripping. Tell me if I'm tripping in the comments below. But if my friend tells me that she didn't fucked on a man, she didn't have sex with a man. I instantly am like, well, dang, okay. He's off limits. If my friend tells me she likes a man, he's off limits. If my friend was in a relationship with a man and she breaks up with him, he's off limits. Who raised y'all? Who raised y'all? See, this is what's wrong with the black community. This is what's wrong with black women now, okay? We operate in lack. We operate like Men are scarce. We operate like there's only two men on earth. And when we get one, we got to hold on to him for dear life. No matter how many red flags he shows us, no matter how much ain't shitness he portrays to us, we got to hold on to him for dear life and we have to endure and suffer his bullshit. That is false. That is so false. And like, women think that, that because they met one man, they never gonna meet a man again. And it's just like, baby, baby, relax. These men ain't going nowhere. These niggas ain't going nowhere. What is, I mean, I get it. Societal pressures, marriage, want to have babies, hopeless romantics, but y'all got to relax, okay? Because women play a big role to the reason why the bar's in hell now and to the reason why there ain't no girl code now. Anyway, so instead of us going out to eat, she throws a big, huge hissy fit about she doesn't feel like she gets to do anything nice for herself and this guy wants to date her so why can't i date her i'm at home struggle 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 victim 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 i you know tim i want to spend time with you but if you came to my my city and you said you wanted to go out with a man i wouldn't stop you but baby if you would have told me you would have you would have fucked on him I would have canceled. I would have canceled. Yeah. Because that's just the type of friend I am. <laughs> but clearly, you don't give a fuck about my friendship. What if I would have had feelings for that man? I didn't tell you I didn't, I didn't tell you I had feelings for him or not. You just assumed it was just a one time thing and you took his word for it. Girl, please. Now, I'm going to be honest. When it comes to my friends, I give second chances. But I gave this girl too many chances. Same thing has happened. A second time she hit me up she tells me she's staying with a guy <laughs> doesn't come here for me but comes here for the guy 
etc etc and eventually I cut her off I blocked her ass right in the middle of one of her little trips because girl I was like girl I'm not doing this with you you clearly have ulterior motives every time you come to see me it's about a man you stay in a man's house you want me to you know be there for you in case he's a he turns out to be a serial killer or something it's just too much so women like Portia are clearly never reliable she claims to be a girl's girl she's not anybody's girl's girl she was this is my personal opinion okay from the videos and the clips that I have been seeing and that's been circulating around now this uh, this season of Real Housewives of Atlanta the first two episodes I stopped watching because that shit was boring as hell and I, I got tired of seeing Latoya dumbass bobbling around on screen I'm like girl you're doing too much you're doing too much so yeah here's the thing um baby I believe that Portia plotted on that woman Fallon I believe that she met Simon in her rest in his restaurant. She saw him. She saw the lifestyle. She saw the she saw the money. She saw the cars. She saw the businesses. She saw the establishments. And then she met his wife. And the wife brought her around in the home. Which, ladies, I've never been one to be insecure around other women. However, I I get what people are saying now. You gotta watch who you bring into your home and who you bring around your man because bitches be plotting bitches be plotting on you they see your lifestyle they want what you have and I'm so confused because I'm like Portia you're not poor you've never been so I understand you see how the, she treats this man treats his wife but what makes you think he's gonna treat you the same way that's the thing about y'all bitches y'all be crazy and thinking that a man is gonna treat you the same way that he treats his current girlfriend or his ex it's like no babe just because you steal somebody's man not saying that a man could be stolen but just because you infiltrate somebody's relationship doesn't mean that the man's gonna treat you the same way honey because uh, newsflash this hot tea just dropped on the shade room and Simon got other bitch Simon is out here doing his sugar daddy thing all over Atlanta it seems like okay five weeks ago a shorty was just in his lambo is that was that a lambo let me let me let me let me let me let me let me, let me double check last time i checked simon just had this old bleach blonde shorty in the passenger seat of his ferrari that's big sugar daddy things to me if you ask me that's sugar daddy things you gotta find young daddy in your ferrari sir that's sugar daddy things okay so and like come on so like I just don't really understand like I don't understand what Portia is coming off I really hope that this is a storyline that they are capturing as we speak Andy get them cameras to Atlanta get the cameras to Atlanta Andy seriously because we need this <laughs> we need this to revive the Real Housewives but girl you just out here looking like a whole clown behind this man you out here looking like a whole clown sis what is the re what I, I was i was not expecting this from from porsche porsche i was not honey but <laughs> it just goes to show women like her cannot be trusted stay away from women like her please if a girl shows you any type of red flag Please end the friendship. Please, please end the relationship because women out here don't give a damn. They just trying to get married. That's all they want. They just trying to get married and have a nigga. Fuck friendship. Fuck loyalty. Fuck um ride or die friends. You know that's gonna be there after y'all break up. Fuck all that. I'm with this nigga for life. Girl, please. I believe Portia plotted on him since day one. Since she was at his house in episode one of real housewives of atlanta this this past season she plotted she knew what she was doing her ass is a cancer she manipulative as fuck i know what she was doing girl bye and then for her to post the picture with her baby daddy and the new man like as you guys can see i have my baby daddy stamp of approval so everything's fine we're one big happy family <laughs> delusion bullshit from my understanding, her ex, Dennis, was a Dusty who cheated on her. And let me tell y'all something. Dusty men like rich niggas, too. They like rich niggas, too. Because guess what? He going to benefit off that, too. You can see he was all up in the man house. As you can see, he's already benefiting. So, <laughs> please. 
dusty niggas are groupies. Uh, just like these bitches. Uh, they love rich niggas too. Uh, please. Uh, I'm, mm -mm. I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. Like, it's one thing to be a side bitch and like somebody's husband come after you and you don't understand, you don't know that he has another woman, but it's another thing for you to be friends with somebody and see that they've been with the person and, you know, <laughs> be in their home and being fake as fuck to their face and then go behind their back and then <laughs> get engaged to their, hus their ex-husband who the ink probably not even dry on the divorce papers, boo. <laughs> the ink probably isn't even dry, love. Like, <laughs> uh. But I digress. Y'all be safe out there, okay? Because these bitches ain't loyal and these niggas ain't either. Alright, you guys. That is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching Tam TV. And I will see y'all in the next one. This is the outro. Uh. This is the outro. Uh. This is the outro. Hey, because I don't have one. Bye. <laughs>